the early stages of rapid retinopathy usually don't have any symptoms some people notice changes in their vision like trouble reading or seeing far away objects these changes may come and go in later stages of the disease blood vessels in the retina start to bleed into the vitreous gel like fluid that fills your eye if this happens you may see dark floating spots or streaks that look like cobwebs these are called floaters sometimes the spots clear up on their own it's important to get treatment right away without treatment your bleeding can happen again and get worse or cause scarring apart from bleeding in the eye there can be retinal detachment which will require surgical treatment Managing your diabetes is the best way to lower your risk of diabetic retinopathy. That means keeping your blood sugar levels in a healthy range. You can do this by getting regular physical activity, eating healthy, and carefully following your doctor's instruction for your insulin or other diabetic medicines. To make sure your diabetes treatment plan is working, you'll need a special lab test called an HbA1c test. This test shows your average blood sugar level over the past three months. You can work with your diabetologist to keep HbA1c level normal. Adopt a healthy diet, exercise, regular physical health checkup, monitoring blood glucose levels, and routine eye checkup with dilated eye examination, and quit smoking. Treatment of diabetic retinopathy mainly involves two main aspects: intravitreal injections. and laser injection of anti vegf injections can treat diabetic macular edema laser treatment called pan retinal photocoagulation prevents formation of new vessels in the retina advanced diabetic retinopathy needs surgical treatment such as vitrectomy for clearing accumulated blood in the eye or repairing detached retina